I was doing an interview about the business of sports, and what you created with this brand is unbelievable. The toughest thing in life is figuring out what you want to do. What are you here for? What were you meant to do? What is your purpose in life? Where you get motivation. I want to see how good I can get. In the UFC, the best fight the best. I fight. If you break into the top 15, it's a huge accomplishment. Top 10, very few people do it. Top five. I want to become UFC champion. If I cannot beat the Aquinta Pettis or Felder, how I can call this? You have to beat everybody. I'll match my belt with Khabib's any day. I'm all in. I don't care what color you are, what country you come from, or what language you speak. We're all human beings. Fighting's in our DNA. We get it and we like it. So when you grew up, what was your dream in life? This is what I've always wanted to do. I went to school for physical therapy and nursing and being a cop. I mean, I've had a cubicle job too, man, and there's nothing wrong with it. But I said to myself, that's not for me. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. 100% my whole life. This is what I do all my life. Stay hungry, stay foolish. They booked it four times before, this is the fifth time. I prefer to not talk about it because it has been so cursed. I'll be in Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson, the fight you once told me you would never book again. Just in case you forgot, this fight has been signed four times. It's fallen through four times. It's like a crazy fight, you know. Four times, we prepared. Tony, a lot of people were looking forward to your fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Unfortunately, it's not happening. Scotty Ferguson! He robbed me of that. It was supposed to be Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson. That fight is no longer happening. It's now Daryl Forcher. He pull out. He have to shut up now. Khabib Nurmagomedov fell ill while cutting weight. It's tiramisu time, bitches. And now his fight against Tony Ferguson has officially been canceled the third time. Three times? Do I remember that right? Is it four times? <laughs> Tony Ferguson hurt himself, he tore his LCL. Khabib and I deserve to fight. We need to fight for the fifth time. We need to try this out again. It started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. This is a global pandemic. I have to beat this guy. That's why I'm here. I told you I'm a fucking hit man. Nobody wants to be trapped inside that cage with me. They don't want to get cut by my elbows, get hit by any of my kicks, and they don't want their conditioning checked by me. Oh! Dustin, Tony, doesn't matter. When I go to the cage, I mow my opponent. I'm a different animal than these guys. There's nobody in this division that's ready for me. I just want to mow people. Khabib is doing stuff on top I've never even been shown. I have never even seen it. Everybody is running from Khabib on the ground. Tony's gonna attack. We always have the best fighting the best. That's why you fucking got in it. You should never make like this fight. 12 wins versus 12 wins. This is about history. Aren't we fascinated by the whole premise of conquest? Yes. We are fascinated by who the toughest people in the world are. Tyson, Manny Pacquiao, this little guy from the Philippines. The world knows Manny Pacquiao. Bruce Lee. Kids still know who Bruce Lee is today. today. He died in the early 70s. When you commit to fighting and want to be a fighter, then you must be incredibly disciplined.
standing up in Big Bear when we were running, we could hear the people that were with me, but then sometimes we would hear something else in the background, so it made us run a little bit faster.